that in many ways, Adrian Kalfopoulou is relatively fortunate. A university lecturer, she has a steady job, a regular modest income and low outgoings. The daily drip of gloomy economic news and ever more worrying data has actually become a fact of life here. The run on the banks, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of smiling because I think there's been a run on the banks for the past two years where people have gradually been taking their money out. Uh, I'm, I'm sure, um, I know that there are a lot of people who've kept, who keep their money in, in their homes. Is your, is your mattress stuffed with, with banknotes? My mattress. Well, well, I wish I had banknotes to stuff my mattress with. <laughs> Talk to any Greek and it's not hard to find people who know of someone who's hoarding currency at home for fear of a banking collapse. Getting someone who'll admit it openly is near impossible. The evidence is largely anecdotal. Friends of friends. A friend of mine was taking her daughter to a birthday party in a, sub, in a suburban, northern suburb area and she said it was so policed she had stopped because she couldn't find the house. So they were sort of stalled and she was looking at the map and suddenly there were three guards that came out of nowhere. But beefed up private security firms are not the only indicators of economic concerns. The European Central Bank, which has been providing liquidity for Greece's banks, on Thursday cut off support to four of them for being technically insolvent. It is a temporary situation, but evidence of just how close the system is to breaking point. Nonetheless, one former bank director with impeccable connections says cutting support now would be counterproductive. It's crazy when you, you hear people saying that uh, the money should not go to the money lenders. They don't realize that uh, it's where the people keep their money. It is the, the kingpin of all the economic confidence in this country and we should be very, very careful with it. Greece's caretaker government was sworn in on Thursday morning. To many Greeks' relief, it's a non-partisan, non-political cabinet, with Greece's most senior judge as interim prime minister. He has four and a half weeks to hold the economy steady until elections on June the 17th. It will be no mean feat if he can achieve it. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Athens.